Hi, Promise Fellows. This video is going to show you how you will log into Encore and submit your timesheets. So to start, you go to mn.encorereports.com, and then you will log into your account by selecting the right program year. I'm going to use uh, the past program year as my example. You will scroll down until you see the Minnesota Alliance with Youth logo, and you will uh, click AmeriCorps member. Once you get to this page, I recommend bookmarking it, and then you don't have to go through those first two steps again. Uh, but if you ever have to, that's how you would do it. Here you've got your login information, which you're going to receive within your first week of service, and you will log in. All right, this is what your Encore account's going to look like. To submit a timesheet, you'll go to time tracking, enter timesheets. You will select the period that you are entering hours for. And then this is the timesheet. So here you can see you've got the different categories of fundraising, training, and service, and then uh, each bucket where you can put hours. So make sure that um, any day that you are serving, you're writing a description that has that location plus a description of activities and then entering hours. Um, and then before you submit, always make sure to double check the information is in the correct category. So regular service activities, this bucket here, and then training is this bucket here. These are gonna be your two most common um, and that's where you will enter hours. You will see that um, once you enter hours, there is a total hours that calculates here. And then once you have entered hours um, for a few days, when you scroll to the bottom, you get a total hours count. Um, you can see you've got training of four, service of 12, and total of 16. Then you will authorize and submit. Make sure to authorize and submit and not just save because saving isn't submitting it. So if you save, it doesn't go to your supervisor. If you authorize and submit, then it goes to your supervisor. And that is it. Once you have timesheets, you'll be able to look at this overview of hours because this is just an example. There's no um, hours yet approved in here, but you'll be able to see your total number of fundraising training service hours um, throughout the year as you submit timesheets. That's that.